as a pre-med and my medical school journey. Welcome to my week in the life of a medical student video. This is the week of August 30th to September 3rd, I believe. And today is August 30th. This morning, I actually have an exam. So I'm starting off the week with a bang. <laughs> it's 8.13 a.m. right now. But as you may or not be able to tell, I'm fully dressed already. So I woke up around 6.45 and our exam is at 10, but we have to be there by 9.30. So I'm about to start heading the campus i want to get there a little earlier so i can study this one lecture that i want some refreshers on yes i'm one of the people who studies right before the exam it works for me so this is the outfit i'm rocking with today i'm wearing this pink newspaper shirt flare jeans and air force ones and i also brought a hoodie along because it does get cold in the exam room so for breakfast i'm probably gonna have a granola bar and eat some strawberries straight out the pack. And I'm probably going to place an order on Starbucks now so that I can get it when I get to campus. I promise I don't get Starbucks every single day, but you know, just going to take it before the exam for some extra confidence. So I will see y'all in the library on campus. If you're wondering what I got, I just got a pumpkin spice latte with caramel drizzle. Post exam, how are y'all feeling? Fantastic. Fantastic. Pretty okay. Most fun I ever had. Great, <laughs> great. Love to hear it. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's about 2.10 p.m. now. I finished the exam about two hours ago, and now I'm just getting some food at Kava. I'm with my girl, Serene. <laughs> I got the lemon avocado bowl, which is vegetarian. I haven't tasted it yet, though. Serene, what did you get? Um, I got the lemon chicken bowl with the blueberry lavender uh, lemonade. And Dad, if you're watching this, hi. <laughs> Yeah, hi Serene's dad, if you're watching this. Hey, it's currently 5.42 p.m. I've been home for, I don't know, maybe like an hour, an hour and a half. I didn't finish my kava, so I'm just, you know, eating some more now. It's really fire, I 10 out of 10 recommend. I wonder how loud my chewing sounds in the mic. Anyway, I think the exam went well, thankfully. This is our third exam that we just took and it was kind of on like cells and tissue related stuff if I had to like generalize everything that was tested and a little like histology stuff as well. But there's gonna be another lab exam for histology primarily. I definitely feel like it wasn't as bad as the first two exams. I feel a lot more confident after this one, so hopefully I did well. No, I will not be reacting to my score. So this evening, I probably want to listen to Kanye West's new album. It came out yesterday, but I couldn't listen to it yesterday because I was busy studying yesterday. I hear it's good, so I have to hear it for myself. But yeah, apart from that, I want to clean and do my laundry. Monday afternoons, right after the exam, I'm usually pretty chill. I usually do something to treat myself, so hence the kava. Oh my gosh, my hip. Comment if you listen to Kanye's album. Tell me how you liked it. I'll probably let y'all know later. I also think I want to go over the slides for tomorrow's lectures so I can be a little more prepared going in. And I also have to catch up on some of the lectures for this class we're taking called Population Health. So yeah, that's usually how I spend the afternoon every other Monday. I really always look forward to after the exam because that's like my free time. But yeah, I'm going to go do everything I said I was going to do and catch y'all later. No. No, 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 no. Are we 
Good morning. Let me say that while I still can because it's past 11 a.m. I do not plan on going to campus today. I'm just gonna watch the lecture recordings. Usually the day after the exam, I just work from home just for like peace and sanity reasons. But right now I'm gonna go make some breakfast. So I'm probably just gonna make a smoothie. Body nice. This is good. So update on yesterday. Kanye's album is really good. Strongly recommend. Right now I'm about to write down a checklist in my planner of what I plan to do today. And I'm going to like make a checklist and like rank them. So first and foremost, we have a virtual tele simulation on Zoom today where we're going to practice taking patient history and vital signs. So my top priority right now is to prepare for that. And after the tele simulation, or at least after I'm prepared for it, I'm probably gonna watch the 2020 lecture recordings for the lectures we're learning today. They are recording the lectures this year, but they don't really come out till later, so I'm just using the ones from last year. The lecture topics today are blood and bone marrow and histology of blood vessels, if you were wondering. So after I watch the lecture, I'm going to go through another pass of the information. So basically by that, I'm just going to read the PowerPoint slides that I took notes on. So by going through another pass of the info, I can consolidate it a little bit more. And then after that, I wanna do some Anki. Will we get to it? Maybe, maybe not, but that's my ranking for today. Hey y'all, so the tele simulation is in about 20 minutes and for it I need to wear business professional. So right now I'm just wearing this black dress, gray blazer, I'm not wearing any shoes, as well as this necklace that I may or may not have permanently borrowed from my mom. Love you, mom. Hey y'all, it's past five now and the tele simulations are officially over. It went pretty well, I'd say. It was enjoyable. It was nice. Learned some new things. They basically gave us a presentation about taking vitals and stuff like that and doing the interview like they said that they would. Now I'm just going to work on the lectures from today and I will catch you all later. Good morning. It's almost 7.30 a.m. It's Wednesday. At 8 a.m. we have Histology Lab, which I have to go to campus for, so I'm dressed up and on my way out. Hey, so it's past 10 a.m. now. We just finished with the Histology Lab. So today we basically have this PowerPoint and we're identifying different types of blood cells and we use this software to look at a histo slide and like zoom in zoom out and look at the different cells so basically you can see the basophil the neutrophil the lymphocyte the monocyte so basically that's what we were doing I realized I forgot to actually show you the software that we use for the histology lab. The one for MacBooks is called Objective View. So basically this is a lung. This is not one of the ones we use in school because I don't know whether the university have a problem with me using the actual ones we're using. But this is some random slide off the University of Guelph in Ontario, Canada's website. So yeah, this is a lung and see it, you can zoom in and zoom out and different magnifications and you can move around so basically we have to identify different things i'm not a histology master so i'm just going to say a few things i recognize right here i'm seeing what looks like smooth muscle like i said i don't really know what's going on here for sure <laughs> this right here is looking like some sort of blood vessel because i'm seeing the red blood cells in there and i'm seeing smooth muscle around it so i'm thinking this might be some sort of arterial but anyway i just wanted to show you guys what we basically do in histology lab even though it's just like 10 o'clock I'm gonna head home now so I can be home for our Zoom meeting which we have for our SGLs. I'll explain more about those later. Hey y'all, so I'm back home. I did stop by Target to get some things that I needed. I went now in between the classes because there's a flash flood warning in the afternoon. And I didn't want to have to walk through that. So I just went before it started flooding and raining. It's almost noon. We're about to start the SGL. 
which is basically we're split up into groups of 10 and we're basically given a whole bunch of questions to answer it's usually about 11 questions so basically we just as a group answer those questions and try and get as much information relating to the questions as possible and then right now in the SGL discussion we're about to discuss our answers and a member of the faculty is usually with us to help us to better understand what we need to understand for the quiz and we're going to be quizzed on this information tomorrow morning at the beginning of the histo lab today we were meant to have a lecture later but it got cancelled so today i just really had the histo lab and the sgl so i will talk to you all when the sgl is over so the SGL is over. It was pretty cool. We did everything that I said we were going to do earlier with answering the questions. But in addition to that, we also looked at some case studies. That is, they'd give us a scenario with a patient. Like for example, Jessica came in and her urine is black or something. I don't know why that's what came to mind. But yeah, basically they just give a scenario and somebody has an issue and we see their symptoms and and we're given some of their lab numbers, like their different types of blood cell counts. And based off the information we're given, we try to figure out what type of disease they have or what kind of anemia they have in our case for today. So yeah, that was fun. It's almost like being a detective and solving a puzzle. So it was interesting. Now I'm going to go eat a struggle meal and then I will just be doing some work for the rest of the day. And I'm going to try to not be blown away by this tornado that's about to hit. I'm serious, there's a tornado warning right now in DC. So gonna try to stay safe. Painting pictures with my body There's just something about me When I get around you I Hey y'all, so it's about 7.45. I've really just been studying for the last X amount of hours. I don't even know how long, maybe five hours. I'm about to go to the movie theater to watch Candyman with one of my friends. So hopefully it's good. If you did watch it, let me know how you liked it. I'm gonna catch y'all later. Hey girl. Hey y'all, I'm back home. I really like the movie. I give it like a 7.5 to 8 out of 10. I do recommend watching it. It was not that scary. It was like a perfect amount of thrill to it. But anyway, now I'm just gonna probably work until midnight or so, and I will see you all in the morning. Hey y'all, it's Thursday. I am back home from school. This morning at 8 a.m. we had lab, histology lab. So we were basically looking at different types of tissues and looking at different blood vessels and like the components of the blood vessels and the nerves and you know things associated with them and today we did also have lecture the topics for today were the lymphatic system lymphoid system and introduction to nutrition so yeah the lectures were quite long but i did attend because i usually do prefer to attend lectures in person i probably will not be attending tomorrow though but yeah, after the lectures, I went to Pot Bellies with one of my friends. And since then, I've really just been home. I forgot to mention, we did have the quiz at the beginning of the morning, like right before we started the lab, around 8 a.m. I think the quiz went pretty well. And we also did get our exam scores back today. I'm not sharing my score, but I am happy with it. But I just said that for reference, just to say that we get our exam scores usually within two or three days of taking it. So in this case, we took the exam on Monday got the score back on Thursday. So now this evening my plan is to review the lectures from today and to try to get some extra work done before I go home for Labor Day. But yeah, I'll catch y'all later. This looks disgusting. <laughs> it's gonna be fire though. Good morning. It's Friday, last day of the week, September 3rd. I woke up a couple hours ago. I just made breakfast, ate breakfast, showered. Like I said yesterday, there is lecture today, but I'm just gonna watch the recording. Today, all we really have are four hours of lecture, all on like different components of nutrition. As you may or may not be able to tell, I'm still in my room, but I'm going to go to a different room in my apartment to study today 
just for a nice change of scenery. So the first thing I'm going to do now is go through the lectures for today, all four, because the recordings have not been released as they're still recording them right now. So if I finish that before the lecture recordings are released, I'm gonna study what we've learned throughout the week just to solidify the information so my studying for the exam in a week's time is not as difficult. I flash, cause I like to read I forgot to mention, I am doing the Pomodoro method, so I just studied for 25 minutes and now I'm taking a 5 minute break, and during the break I usually just walk around, stretch, do some jumping jacks, get moving, and I am wasting my break time right now, so I'll see y'all later. Hey, I'm back in my room. I just studied for nine Pomodoro sessions, so that means I studied for approximately four and a half hours. And I really was just going over the lectures from today. So basically what I was reading about was nutrition, but we kind of broke it up into segments. So the first lecture was on carbs, the second one was proteins, then it was lipids, and lastly we did vitamins. And y'all, vitamins are so important. Like, you have no idea how many things vitamins do for you so yeah make sure to eat your green leafy vegetables i didn't even like tell you guys what the pomodoro method actually is so basically the aim of it is to improve how focused you are when you're studying so what you do is study for 25 minutes then take a five minute break then study for another 25 minutes and take a five minute break and just keep repeating that but you know after so many sessions you can take longer breaks like a 30 minute break or a 10 minute break having this short segments trains your mind to focus and i've been using this method since undergrad and it's pretty helpful for me and it helps me to eliminate distractions so yeah i think it's past 3 30 now i'm gonna go make some lunch and then once i eat food i'm gonna continue studying y'all we just got assigned our preceptors and our preceptorship dates so basically we get to go into the hospital and take the history and vitals of an actual patient alongside a doctor and mine is in october so that's exciting it is wild though how real this is okay hey y'all it's almost 8 30 and i am done working for the day and by that i mean i'll be doing more work over the weekend but now i'm going to go edit this video that i'm filming right now because i want to get it up this weekend and today's friday tomorrow saturday this week was honestly one of the more chill week because usually the weeks that are that monday we take the exam and then the rest of the week are more laid back because we don't have the next exam until the following week next week is going to be a little bit more intense you won't be seeing me going to eat out multiple times and going to the movies during the middle of the week but anyway, I hope you got a taste of what med school is like and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I wish you all the best on your journeys, whatever you're doing. Adios!